G'day everyone, my name is Ralph Mayhew and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're taking smoke photography. We're taking three photos. Taking a photo of just a wisp of smoke. Then we're going to twirl the smoke around and then we're going to create a smoke ring. First thing we need to do is make this place darker. So I'm going to shut the blinds. And here's the plan. I've got a candle in front of me. I put it in a Coke can to stand it up. Going to light this and as the smoke wisps up, going to take a photo. Going to shoot it on about 250th of a second with the aperture up to 22 and an ISO of 100. We want to kill all this ambient light. Ambient light is light that you makes you be able to see things. So even if I pull down these other blinds, you can still see things. If you shoot at a high shutter speed and a high aperture, you can't see anything else in the image than what you highlight. Which brings me to my next point. This is Yongnuo 564 and it's a flash that you can control to do whatever you want. You can control the brightness, you can control the zoom and you can control the delay. There's a little attachment that sits on your camera and it's radio signaled to this. It's important to have flash when you're doing smoke photography because you've killed all the ambient light and you just want this light, which is positioned about here, shooting across the candle smoke to be able to grab it and illuminate it straight off. So we're going to light the candle and then I'm going to blow it out and take the photo and you'll see how that all goes. I'll just position it so you can see the whole action. Oh, look at that. You can see everything. <laughs> Happy days. Here's my cut shutter release, which will enable me not to bump the camera while I'm taking this shot. Shot's gonna be really still, so the shutter release does that. The other thing I'm gonna do is light the candle, because I don't know if you've heard about candle memory. Basically, has nothing to do with photography, <laughs> but if you blow the candle out now, it'll never melt the wax past the point where you blow it out. There you go. All sorts of things you're learning today. Now, as always, you've got to smash out a uh, test shot. So here's the test shot, hold on. Wow, it's looking beautiful. I need to lower the flash, and I'm gonna put the flash on quarter power, because I really want it to highlight uh, that candle, and I'll just make sure that the candle's the only thing it lights. Bingo. Stoic to the candle now. bit of a tip as we wait for our candle to burn down. When you turn off all the ambient light, you put your settings to the fact where they only can pick up something that shoots with a flash, like for example if you're doing portraits, you can't see what a mirrorless camera is doing. So if you turn off live view, it just gives you an immediate daylight view of what you can see. So you can actually make sure everything's still in focus, make sure everything's composed well, whilst not mucking about with your settings. Come on. Man, I've never wanted to blow out a candle so bad in my life. Thanks for sticking around. We're finally ready to go. Okay, we're all set, so all I need to do is blow out the candle, take the photo. Let's see how it goes. Ready? Always, when using shutter release, you wake the camera up by half pressing it. Otherwise, when it comes to taking the shot, it just wakes it up rather than takes a shot. Using a 70 mil lens, and here we go. Do you see how we went? Useless. Gonna have to put this right up. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on full strength. To do it, just make sure that's not in my shop. I light the candle. Man, thought I had it. Thought it was like, game on. Easy days, let's move on to the fun stuff. Ready? Here we go. Come on, yeah, all right. That's nice plumage. Can you see that? Woo! Let's see if we got lucky. Yes, have a look. I just want a better composition of the candle. So our settings are gold. I'm just gonna blow it out and then take the photo because it came back. Ready? And then now. And now. And now. Now what we're going to do, I've got two incense sticks here, 
which were like two bucks at the local cheap store. I'm not an incense kind of a guy, in case you hadn't worked that out. So I'd make it really clear. So I'm cable tying these two together so that to increase the amount of smoke that I can then wave around in front of the camera. I'm gonna light them and then like this, and my hope is that the smoke trail kind of loops around so we can do some cool things with this rather than just a linear smoke plumage. That word plumage is pretty cool, isn't it? Same principle, same settings, same everything. And I'll give this a bit of a shake and bake. Now I know that this point is actually in focus and with my uh, aperture of 22, I've got a really wide depth of field so I don't need to worry too much about that. But if I don't move the can and I just take the candle out gently, the center of the can is primo focus space. Top of the incense is in focus. I need to light them now. I might just take a shot of that, which you can do just like this. We've got our straight plumage, we've got our swirling smoke. Now, we're gonna do smoke rings. And short of lighting up and blowing a smoke ring, which would not be healthy or helpful for this experiment, I am going to attempt a different way. I've not seen this done before, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident. I'm filling this water bottle, which is soft and pliable, with smoke. And then the idea is, let's just see if it works on camera, we'll give it a crack now, ready? The idea is I go... Good work! You just need thicker smoke. So while that's smoking up, the idea is the same. I'm gonna shoot this way, Gonna pop out a, a smoke ring and hopefully get it so that it's facing the camera. So it's like facing you, got a circle like that in just a pretty um, pretty cool smoke configuration. Everything's working pretty well. This is really simple to do. It's really easy to do. You just gotta be a little bit patient because smoke doesn't do what you want it to do. I realized that there was a lot of movement of, of air and wind in this room that I thought was really, really still. You're breathing, you can just blow really gently and you can steer some of the smoke sometimes. But I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna take out my incense sticks. I'm gonna grab my shutter, turn the camera on, and here we go. <sighs> no, not working. Need thicker smoke in here. Probably a better way to do this. If you've got any other ideas, put them in the description below. If you're just waiting around to see how this works out, chuck us a Chuck us a subscription, I like just subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out. It means we can do more of this stuff. Getting the hang of this now. They're just sort of hanging in front of the flash in line with the camera. Well, we're getting close, but we're not quite there yet. What I need to do is shoot the smoke ring higher. I've got a couple, as you can see, but not bang on how I'd want them. So um, I need to move my flash up higher. We got there in the end and a few things that I learned along the way. I used a plastic bottle that you can just gently squeeze and as you can see, it's my black t-shirt, it blows out those little, little smoke rings. And then what you have to do is do it so that a smoke ring is brilliantly positioned in the focus zone and the flash zone. And so what happens is it comes as a puff and then it forms and then it squidges and then it forms and then boom! That's when you want to take the photo. Cool, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. I'll share the images in just a moment. In terms of what videos come out when, I do a two minute tips thing on Saturday mornings, Australia time. I do a Monday Arvo evening, Monday video, and I do a Thursday video of the same sort of thing. It's longer, it's more tutorial based, or it's got more production 
value for you to enjoy. If you haven't subscribed, do so, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Video, 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 physio, physio, on from. Ha! I put an extensive video out on Thursday, also, as well as. It's not even Tuesday.